Hello and welcome to Breakfast with Unity, your breakfast show for Unity enthusiasts. So uh, what we're going to be doing this morning is camera shake. So let's just get started on this before I bother explaining why we're doing this a third time. So C Sharp script, we're going to create a new script called Camera Shake. This is going to be our main script that shakes the camera. So let's first just get it working. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to put a uh, public float amplitude. Let's give this to 0.1f public float. Um, what's the other thing? Uh, duration. So uh, equals 1.0.5f. Uh, so let's just first make it work. So the core of our camera shake is going to be the following line. Transform dot position. So our current position, we're going to change it to, oh, we're going to need a, another variable here, private vector three initial position. So first we need to set the initial position to start here. So we're going to do initial position equals transform dot local position is actually what we want. And we want local position here as well. Local position, and this is going to be equal to um, transform dot local position plus random dot inside units unit sphere. This means a random vector within a sphere of one unit size, so it can point in any direction and can be of, of a length up to one, but anywhere between zero and one. Um, so random inside unit sphere. Um, times our amplitude. This makes it so that it shakes more or less, so in this case it'll be between 0 and 0 0.1 initial position. Um, and uh, that's it. So we're not going to use duration because this is just going to test to see if this actually shakes things. So we're going to create a cube so that we have a point of reference in the scene. We're going to also go ahead and create a directional light so the cube doesn't look terrible. Um, and we're going to put camera shake on our main camera and we're going to hit play. There we go. We got we got some shake. Now our shake actually kind of moves us around. Well, actually it shouldn't. But oh yeah, I'm doing it wrong. Um, the reason it's moving around is because we actually want to not base it on our previous position because that means that we can technically vibrate wherever we want to. We want to base it on our initial position. Initial position. So save, hit play. So now it should say, there we go. That's a real camera shake. But now we only want it when we want it. So we're going to make this so that we can do that. Um, I'm going to create another private. Private bool is shaking. So we're only going to do this if, uh, let's set it to false. False. Flas. All right. So if is shaking, then we'll do this stuff. Now, of course, is shaking, just defining a bool like that doesn't mean that it just automatically works. We need to actually put that logic in. So um, we're going to need a a call to make to... Um, so we're going to have to make this into a, a singleton. We're just going to make it into a little get of singleton first, so it just is going to have a reference to itself. Uh, we're going to do a public, um, public st static camera shake. So it's a reference to itself. We're going to call it instance, and in our start we're going to set instance equals this. This way we can access this, uh, this, this instance from anywhere. It only allows us to have one, um, otherwise, well, whatever the last one, we the last object that, that initializes the script will actually get that honor. Um, so you might want to set this up as a proper singleton, but uh, for right now this will, this will be fine for our morning show. So, um, so now... We're going to add a public void shake, and it's going to take a uh, float amplitude and float duration. And because we want to use these words, and these are facing our interface here, like people don't need to know the implementation details on this stuff, we're going to actually make these private. And we're going to then, um, what are we going to do? We're going to put uh, underscores in front of them so that they don't clash with our 
the public uh, facing variables here for when people use our interface. So um, public void shake, amplitude duration, um, what we're going to do here is we're going to um, uh, set is shaking equals true and we're going to call invoke um, uh, stop shaking uh, after duration and then we're going to create the stop shaking so um, public uh, public void stop shaking I decided to make it public this time because maybe you want to programmatically stop the shaking before it's done and this will allow you to do that so um, what we want to do is uh, at the end of stock shaking is is shaking is shaking equals false and that should be all we need there um, oh let's do one more thing so in in shake we want to um, make it so that cancel invoke is called so if you shake twice it won't do some un unexpected behavior and honestly in stop shaking we should do the same um, cancel and actually it doesn't even matter if we do it here I'm just gonna leave it you can logically figure out why that is the case and explain in the comments maybe um, and we'll do this exist in the current context oh yeah that's the other thing we needed though I don't know what this is wait what's the problem oh um, we get rid of that real quick yeah, it doesn't matter um, oh we're using amplitude we want to use underscore amplitude here because we change our variable name and we want to actually set uh, the amplitude so uh, amplitude equals amplitude and we don't need to technically set the duration we really don't even need a uh, temporary variable for that so I'm just gonna get rid of it because the duration immediately is used by this function we don't need it anywhere else so we're done it should compile I'm gonna put it on oh, we've already got it on the main camera so now we have to actually call it though uh, it won't actually do anything by itself if we hit play it's just gonna sit there so we're gonna create a new C sharp script we're gonna create this we're gonna call it shake on uh, camera shake on start I'm gonna actually get rid of this this time because it's bothering me all right and this one is going to have our public um, float amplitude and now our defaults matter again so 0.1 f um, public float um, um, duration equals 0.5 f and uh, what are we doing we're going to in start this is all we're going to need um, we're going to call uh, camera shake dot instance this is our instance variable our little ghetto singleton pattern and uh, dot shake and we're going to give it our amplitude and our duration all right save um, and we don't need anything in update and that should be all we need for this script then finally we're going to uh, create something to actually make it shake so we're going to create a uh, particle system this is going to be our basic explodey particle so we don't want it to loop we don't want it to mid over time we want a burst let's do 100 no not 10 100 and we want the shape to be a sphere so if we launch this thing it should look like that which is going to be fine enough for our purpose so uh, we're going to call this fireworks and we're going to make a prefab of it I'm going to put cam we're going to delete the one in the scene we're going to drag camera shake on start into fireworks so it has now camera shake on start and we're going to leave the settings uh, our defaults and then we're going to need to spawn these things so I'm going to have to create a um, another C sharp script called um, random uh, spawn randomly and what this script is going to do is it's going to take a uh, public game object object to spawn can't just call it object because it will I could call it game object under well there's a lot of reasons object to spawn will be fine um, so public uh, game object object to spawn and uh, public float uh, radius yeah radius is that the right term yeah yeah that'll be right no no it won't be right diameter 
Gospels. 1.0. No, let's do 3.0. Let's do range. Range. Whatever. Distance. Distance. Try to be consistent, and in the morning it's tough. All right, so spawn randomly. All we're going to do is we're going to set invoke. Um, spawn. We're going to write that in a second. And the time is going to be... Um, uh, oh, yeah, we want a time, too. Public float delay equals 0.5f. Actually, let's do 1.0f. Save. Um, so we're going to spawn, delay, and then um, we're going to just hijack this and call it spawn. Not really an update anymore, so I'm going to get rid of this comment on there. And what are we doing? We're going to... Um, in here, we're going to instantiate object to spawn, uh, transform dot position. So that's where this, this spawner is, plus random dot range. This is uh, random dot inside unit sphere. This is pretty much exactly what we're doing for randomly moving something. Um, uh, times uh, distance. That, that distance, I swear it exists. Um, and then quaternion dot identity. So we do all that, we hit save. Um, oh yeah, and we need to re-invoke. Remember, the reason I do invoke rather than invoke repeating is it allows us to change the, the rate as the game is running. And then uh, one final thing we're gonna need to do is uh, we want the main camera to actually be a child of another object. So uh, main camera, I'm just gonna copy its position, copy component, we're gonna put the, this camera, this thing in the same place, paste component values, and then we're gonna put the camera as a child of it. The reason we do this is it makes it so that if we move this around, um, our shake script won't mess up. Remember, our shake script finds the initial position of the camera, which means if we were ever to move the camera, it would immediately teleport back to where it started uh, when we do the shake. So I'm gonna call this the camera dolly, is what I'm gonna call it. Um, so, um, so yes, that should be it. Uh, we just need to attach spawn randomly. I'm just gonna put it on our cube because it's already here. We're gonna just make it so our cube doesn't actually show up as a cube. Um, I'm just, actually, I'm just gonna remove all the components we aren't using on this one. Remove component, there we go, spawn randomly. And um, we are going to tell it to spawn fireworks. And theoretically, if we hit play, we will get camera shake every time a firework spawns. Exciting. That's really fun, isn't it? And we should be able to move the camera dolly around and it works fine. Now I want to show you if we wait until after a camera shake here, if I move the main camera like way over or down or something and we go back to the game view and then we hit unpause, you see how it teleported it? That's what we need to avoid with putting it on the dolly. Anyway, thank you for joining us this morning. And you guys have a great breakfast, and I'll catch you tomorrow in the AM for another Breakfast with Unity. A new one this time. Thanks for watching. Support us on Patreon. Email me if you have questions, pushypixels at pushypixels.com.